So in case you didn't get the memo, Shane Dawson is a little bit of a people pleaser and you might be able to relate to this, but in this latest episode of The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star, we're gonna discuss how that might not always be a bad thing. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them. And I've been covering the entire Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star series, so make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me over on social media at The Rewired Soul over on Twitter and Instagram. I'm doing some different things. So first off, follow me over on social media so you stay up to date with everything. But I may not be as active in the YouTube comment section, so social media is a great place to get in touch with me. Uh, my DMs are open on both Instagram and Twitter, so make sure you DM me if you wanna reach out. Uh, you can also email me at therewiredsoul at gmail.com. All right, and as many of you know, we have been donating 20% of all ad revenue to charities, and this video, once again, we will be donating 20% to the Trevor Project. All right, so please, please, please be sure that you share this video because we will be making a donation at the end of this month. All right, and if there are any other charities that you would like to see the channel donate to, like we're donating 20% of every single video to a different charity, so if you have ideas of different charities that mean a lot to you that you want me to know about, leave them down in the comments below, all right? So anyways, yeah, episode two of The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star from Shane Dawson just came out and yeah, I really, really love this episode. Part of it is just because uh, I've always had this kind of like entrepreneurial mind and it's really interesting. Like it was just interesting for me to see behind the scenes, but I'm really glad that they, they're showing this stuff. All right, and I have a few topics that I wanna cover from this specific episode, but as you gathered from the intro and the title, what we're gonna be talking about today is people pleasing because a lot of us can relate to people pleasing, I know I can too, but sometimes it gets a bad rep. So I wanted to focus on this clip right here. <laughs> um, I'm nervous because I'm already afraid I'm not gonna sell anything because I'm already afraid people are gonna be like, wow, well, whatever. I don't know, I don't sell that much merch. Like people watch our videos, but I don't never make money selling things. So the fact that like the expectation is so high for him and the company, where they're like, oh, we're gonna sell so much, we need another fucking facility. Like, right. oh, we need another warehouse. So this is where my pal's gonna be maybe one day? I would say yes. Yes, sir. That's so scary. We need a lot of space <laughs> for that one. We're getting a lot of space. I literally could start barfing right now. I see. Yeah, I was wondering what, what specifically you're anxious about. That makes sense. Yeah. I always think I'm going to fail. I think everything's going to fail. You know, before we upload a video, I'm like, yeah. this one, nobody's going to watch it. It's going to be okay, though. We'll figure it out. Like, nobody cares about Chuck E. Cheese. You can turn around and watch it. You can turn around and watch it. You can turn around and watch it. You can And then I'm always shocked when it does well. I'm always crying and freaking out. The palette thing, though, is so different. I have never sold thousands of anything. I'm not selling thousands of anything a day. Okay. How do you do that? A day? I don't know. I don't want to let him down. So right there, Shane Dawson is talking about some of his worries, some of his concerns, and he doesn't want to let Jeffrey down. So in one of the last videos that we talked about, we talked about getting a mentor and why you need a mentor and having a mentor and everything like that. And this is just yet another reason. So Jeffree Star, obviously like this mogul in the beauty industry, influencers and everything like that, right? And Shane is stepping into Jeffree's world and Jeffree Star is helping him out with this project, right? So even though Jeffree Star is obviously gonna make money off this project, like it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal when somebody is an expert in something or has a lot of experience with something and they're donating their time to you. All right, like this is a big, big thing. And I feel this is why Shane Dawson feels some of that pressure, like he wants it to do well, he wants it to succeed and everything like that. But as we know, many of us have been watching Shane for a long time, we know that Shane is a little bit of a people pleaser. So I wanted to quickly discuss my own experience with being a people pleaser and kind of the pros and cons of it, all right? So let's talk about the negative aspects of being a people pleaser. 
The first negative aspect is that typically if you're a people pleaser, you suck at setting boundaries, right? We say yes, 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 we do these things. And one of them is the delusion of control. We think by saying yes to other people or impressing other people or doing things that might make other people happy, like we believe that we have control over their feelings. And that is something that can drive us nuts. Here's why. If our expectation is set that when we do something, it will make that other person happy, when it doesn't work, like we feel bad and it confuses us, right? But then the other issue with people pleasing is when we're doing something with the motive to in, incite some kind of emotion in the other person, that motive isn't necessarily pure, right? We call that self-seeking. And often what happens is, is that we then build a resentment. Here's a great example of that. Think about doing this at work, right? And you're people pleasing, you go above and beyond and everything like that. But then next thing you know, you don't get the raise you wanted or the promotion that you wanted. Hell, maybe you just wanted some, some credit. Maybe you just wanted to be in the monthly company newsletter and you didn't get it because you you went above and beyond and you were expecting something in return, now you're angry at the boss, now you're angry at the company, right? Like this is something that I had to learn how to get over. But the positive aspects of people pleasing, which I believe helps Shane succeed, and this is something that definitely helped me succeed in my mental health recovery and my addiction recovery, is I don't wanna let people down. And here's what I mean by this. So Shane Dawson is going to work extra hard to try not to let Jeffree Star down. Now, what I would imagine too is Jeffree Star doesn't have huge expectations for Shane Dawson, so a lot of that pressure he's putting on himself. But anyways, when I first got sober, I got sober through 12-step program seven years ago, and I, uh, like most people, ended up getting a sponsor. I waited way too long to get a sponsor, so if you're in recovery, do not make that mistake. Um, but by the time I got a sponsor, he was kind of like Jeffree Star is doing for Shane. Like, my sponsor was donating so much of his time to me, so much of his wisdom and his knowledge about staying clean and developing a better life and everything like that. And uh, he would give me stuff that I had to do. Some of it was, you know, reading, some of it was writing, some of it was like attending diff different things, sometimes it was calling people, all these other things, right? And like, I am the hardest working lazy person on earth, all right? Like, I don't wanna do stuff, I don't wanna work. I, I come up with every excuse you could possibly imagine, right? But because I'm a people pleaser, I didn't wanna let that guy down, right? This guy was donating his time, his energy, his wisdom to me, trying to help save my life, right? So when I didn't wanna do the work for myself, I did it so I wouldn't let that guy down. And what ended up happening was, it changed my life for the better, all right? I went from being this drug addict and alcoholic who had lost everything, job, friends, family, money, wasn't even allowed to see my son. I went from that to having the amazing life that I have today where I get to share my experience on my YouTube channel to hopefully give some people out there a little bit of hope. And it all started with my tendency to be a people pleaser, right? So when we're watching, like the whole point of my, my channel is, when we're watching people like Shane Dawson, like, yes, this is an amazing series, but what can we learn from it? And I believe one of the best things that we can do is take a look at ourselves, like the whole self, all the different aspects of ourself, right? Because a lot of us are like, oh, I like this part about me, but I don't like that part about me. I like this, but not that, right? Like some of us is deeply ingrained in us. Like, for example, to get deep real quick, my people-pleasing tendencies came from my childhood. Having an alcoholic mom, you're always trying to impress people, uh, get people's love and attention and affection and things like that. This is something that I learned through 12-step programs and therapy and all that, right? But it's like, okay, this is something that I need to work on. This is something that I need to hopefully overcome because like we, we were talking about earlier, boundaries are a huge, huge, huge thing. But this is still a part of me. So one of my philosophies is, how do you turn that into something good, all right? How do you turn that into something positive? And this is why I truly believe that we need to look at our quote unquote flaws and say, how do I turn that into something positive, all right? So I am gonna recommend a book. 
to people out there. I'll link it down in the description below. It's called The Power of Different. I know a lot of people watching this have been diagnosed with some form of mental illness, whether it's anxiety or depression or OCD or bipolar disorder or even schizophrenia. They talk about it in this book, The Power of Different. But the whole thing is about turning these negative, quote unquote negatives, into something positive all right but anyways like I, I think this will be really interesting because i want you guys to watch for the rest of the series on days when shane dawson doesn't feel like putting in the work see if he calls back to the fact that he does not want to let jeffree star down all right but anyways let me know down in the comments below are you a people pleaser have you been able to turn it into something good are you still having problems setting up boundaries do you have any advice to anybody else out there who might be a people pleaser let's have a conversation down in the comments below all right but anyways that's all i got for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on patreon as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying books and merch and all that other stuff. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.